Navigating the file structure of the Commodore 64 after using modern computer OSs for a number of years, or even if you're new to the Commodore, can be an unintuitive experience. This is part one of a bite-sized series of Commodore Basics that intends to shed some light on how we navigate within the 64's folder structure. I will be adding some modern twists to each episode by utilizing hardware that contemporary users of the system can find. For instance, in this part, I'll be running the SD2IEC drive emulator from the future was 8-bit. We have the SD2IEC uh, drive, 1541 drive emulator hooked up to the Commodore 64 there. And we're going to start by examining the contents of this drive. So Commodore 64, any, um, any commands that you give, they have to be given in basic. And the Commodore 64 itself had a limited set of instructions that you could pass, and any further instructions were expanded by the individual drives themselves who had their own ROMs um, embedded upon them. So we're going to start with a load, and the dollar sign there is to is to indicate that we're going to um, we're just going to examine the drive. We're going to we're just going to load the drive up into into memory, and eight for our device number. So now, as with any uh, basic program, if we want to get our output we have to we have to type a list. And so here we see the the structure, the root structure of the the SD card we have in, inside the drive. Um, now we've got a number of directories down there. So what if we wanted to get into one of these directories? So again we have to type some CMD commands uh, to to get into it. So we're gonna We'll start with an open, and we're going to do a 15. The first number of this sequence is, that's the, that's the file that we're going to be writing to, to the memory. The second is our device number, and the third is our channel that we're going to be um, communicating with the drive on. So open brackets, CD, just as we would with any other command line, and DOS or... And thus we're in uh, on OS X. And close bracket. And we're going to close out the channel as well once we're, once we're finished. Okay, and then again we have to type, we have to load the contents yet again. Now let's have a look at list. And there we see the contents of the utilities directory. Now, what if we wanted to get back into our root directory? Um, we do it in a very similar fashion. We just supply our open command with a different set of, slightly different set of parameters. Now device number, open our channel again. And here we just do a CD with a double forward slash followed by channel close. And again, we have to load contents of our drive. Let's try that one more time. So now, interestingly, the D64 image files um, that we find pretty much anywhere on the internet, they can be treated very similar to a directory. And using the same set of basic commands, we can examine the contents of one of those. So, but instead of now using, using a, a slash, we're going to use a colon and then the, the file name. Again, we'll run our load drive contents command. And there we can see the contents uh, 
of this terminal program that I have where I downloaded, partially downloaded a bubble bubble program there. So now what if we wanted to go back a, a single directory and not make it all the way back to the root? Um, again, another simple set of basic commands, kind of getting the, uh, the gist of the, the, or the pattern here. And we're going to use our, that's a back, our back arrow key on the, the upper left hand side of the keyboard. Now we're back into the, the roots of the utilities uh, folder. So what if we uh, want to do a little bit of drive organization and let's say we want to make a directory. So there is a, there is a set of, a simple set of commands that can be supplied to our open statements. And the first one for to make a directory is as simple as MD. And we'll just call it test. And we see our directory test that we just created. And likewise, if we wanted to remove that folder, it's a, it's an RD remove directory test. And we're back to where we started. Thank you for watching. If you think any of your fellow Commodore fanatics would find this video useful, um, then please do give it a share. Thanks. Bye.